Hello Michigan Gardeners, this is Doug at Buzzard Family Farm. We're located on, in Marshall, Michigan on Verona Road just outside of Marshall. Um, today I'm planting my second planting of gladiola bulbs. Um, most people associate those with the flowers they can buy in groups of six or seven or eight in the supermarket at different times during the year. We like to have a few of them to mix in with our bouquets during the summer. Um, the bulbs, a lot like the dahlias that I talked about in the last video, um, the bulbs get stored, you have to dig them up in the fall, and you store them in a cool, dry place. So these are my bulbs. I bought some new ones this year, but this is my box of, second box. I'm, I'm going to do three plantings. Uh, another planting in two weeks. I did one two weeks ago, and I'll take you over and show you that in a second. Um, but these are the gladiola bulbs from last year. And in comparison, here's what a nice new bulb looks like from a company. Um, and they're, they're not that expensive. Um, they run, you know, 25 cents each or so, if you can get them on sale. And then what we do is in the black plastic, you can see I go four wide and I punch holes and then I just take glads. This is one of the new varieties here and I got 25 of these this spring and I planted nine of these in uh, two weeks ago near toward the end of uh, May. And now I'm going to plant eight this time. And I should have another seven or eight, depending on how accurate they were with their 25 count, to um, plant in another two weeks. And then instead of all coming off at once, the gladiola bulbs will come off over a period of several weeks. And I just fill in the bulb down in there into the hole that I punched. And there's eight of them. And then I just bring some dirt back over the top of them. I don't stake or tie these. It would definitely be better if they were staked. Um, I do have some that fall over as a result. Um, and then you don't get a good flower stem. So sometimes you're sacrificing that. But it's just something that I don't bother to do. Um, maybe another year I'll do that. But again, here's my bulb planting tool. And again, I just punch a hole in the black plastic, two on each side of the drip tape, and then um, just put the gladiola bulbs in. So this is the second planting. I have room down here where I'm gonna put the third planting in a couple of weeks. And then over here in the distance, in that next section, is the first planting, which is up pretty good. So I'll take you over so you can see that. And so all of these bulbs have started putting up some of the leaves. Once in a while when you're using the black plastic, you will find one struggling to get through. Like this one's pushed pretty hard. So I just go and I open up that black plastic a little bit further so that those leaves have plenty of time, plenty of space to come up. And if I do find any that are underneath the black plastic, I make sure I get them out from underneath the black plastic too. So this one here is kind of coming underneath and I'm gonna pull that plastic back and get that bulb to come up through. And you can kind of see where they are when you look up through the black plastic because the black plastic's rising up a little bit. So right here, there's a rise in the black plastic and right there is another set of leaves trying to get through. So I just periodically come out and get them all so that they're coming through the holes and not getting underneath the black plastic. But we really do like the black plastic for helping us to keep the weeding down. And I can see lots of purslane coming and I'll go through and weed them 
weed the holes here uh, probably in a couple weeks when that gets a little bit bigger and keep them reasonably clean but they're pretty good about coming through even if um, coming through with flowers even if there's uh, some weed growth at the bottom um, so that's how we plant gladiolas here and the next section over we've got some cukes and zucchini growing over there and then this is my dahlia row i know i showed you when i planted the dahlias and we did no irrigation and you can see most of the dahlias even like this one here there's a little dahlia coming right here and here and again these holes will all have to be weeded but most of the dahlias are through here's one here just starting to come right right there so but most of the dahlias are through now they get a little bit bigger we'll probably turn on the irrigation to give them some water and then over here is the rest of the cut flower section that I've been working on different plantings all up through all the way up to the other end where I did the video on sweet sweet peas calendula and snapdragons so that's what I'm doing today on June 11th it's a Saturday um, hope you're having a good one and I'll see you the next time